Okay. Uh, I mean, it's, I guess, semi-good news, but really it's not because this is just a bunch of pretending like they care because it's an election season, right? Basically, some senators are calling the ATF out on solvent traps, which falls under redefinition of the receiver, and forced reset triggers, basically, like you can't enforce things without people knowing about it and be all secretive. But, I mean, that's the whole point of these bureaucracies, right? Uh, the main thing, I was, I'm going to provide the link. You can follow it and read this whole thing, but you can pretty much sum up what all this means in the last paragraph. The ATF is charged by law with enforcing the nation's federal firearms laws and providing regulatory oversight of the firearms industry. ATF simply has no authority to conceal public guidance and then enforce it on unsuspecting Americans. The ATF must issue only those regulations authorized by Congress, provide notice of the proposed regulations, and then provide the American people with an opportunity to comment before the new rule goes into effect. Well, that's what's happening with solvent traps and all that anyway. So here in a few months, they'll go, oh, well, you went through the process, so it doesn't matter. And those, they... This is all just to pretend like they care. And, and what's my evidence for this? Well, these were the same. There was only like a half a dozen Republican congressmen who were against Trump doing a bump stock ban via executive fiat. OK, so once this all finishes up with the proposed rule going into effect, they'll be like, oh, well, the process is over. So now solvent traps uh, are considered silencers by law because they put a proposed rule up on regs.gov and like somehow that justifies it. Don't get too excited about this is all I'm saying. These people, and I, I'm of the mindset both parties are socialist parties, so take, take it with my perspective here for a moment. These guys just want to get reelected. They're not going to do anything to, to save gun rights. These are the same guys who with between 2016 and 2018 had complete control to push anything through and instead of giving us the hearing protection acts they signed off on fix nicks and they supported trump's bump stock ban by executive fiat and i'm not saying to go vote for democrats at all absolutely not but like these guys aren't these are not our saviors right uh but the guys willing to fight the federal government in court and try to do something they got a better chance than we got with our congress people doing something and that's for real Everybody have a great weekend. Hope you're doing good. I will catch you later.